Paddy Bedford didn't start painting until he was 76, but over the next decade his brush strokes took him to the top of the Indigenous art scene. Now five years after his death, a collection of the former stockman's work is on the market for the first time, and money raised from the sale will go towards the education of young Aborigines. This was Paddy Bedford in 2006, a year before he died. He'd travelled from the remote East Kimberleys to Sydney's Museum of Contemporary Art. It was his first glimpse of a major retrospective of his work, tracking the former stockman's brilliant career as an artist, and he liked what he saw. Now a collection of his paintings worth an estimated $2 million is on sale, to be auctioned to raise money for an educational trust. Well, they represent uh, works from the last four or five years of his life, and during that time he decided to actually set up his estate. So he, in fact, put some of his very best works aside uh, to go straight into his estate, not to be sold until after he died. Paddy Bedford continued the distinctive Turkey Creek style of painting made famous by the likes of Rover Thomas and Queenie Mackenzie. He told stories through his brush not only of his dreamings of emu and cockatoo, but also dark violent events. He was one of the eight indigenous artists commissioned to produce artwork for the Quai de Branly in Paris. Paddy Bedford wanted to leave more behind than his art. The paintings will be auctioned in Sydney on Monday and the proceeds will ensure the old stockman's legacy will benefit generations to come. Anne-Maria Nicholson, ABC News.